Hi guys and girls and welcome to Talking Heads Podcast live from Pattaya, Thailand. I'm the host Dave D and thank you for joining me here today and thank you for joining our family. For you guys out there, of course, who have already subscribed to the channel, thanks a lot. And of course, for you guys out there that want to know all of what's coming up and happening, hit that notification bell right now. Of course, we are a listener-sponsored podcast. We survive from you guys liking us and we liking you. We're one big family. Thanks for joining us. There's a lot to come, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget all the links below. See you next time. Bye. Host Dave D. Join us weekdays. Check out all the latest updates on talkingheads-podcast.com. And welcome to Paddy. Welcome to t- <laughs> and uh, welcome to Talking Heads. Having a good laugh today. Uh, just before we came on air, but of course, uh, always laughing and joking as a man at the end of the table. How are you, Bobby? We're going to feature the outtakes that we. Uh we recorded got earlier. got some shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get deported, am I? <laughs> no, absolutely. No, no, like, no, 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 no deportions going on in this. Uh, in this no in deportions. This deportions. <laughs> deportions. Is that dyslexic for deportions? <laughs> it is, a little bit. <laughs> Darren McGarry, welcome to the studio. Thank How you, are you doing? All right? Yeah, good, mate. You? Yes, I mean, yeah, um, well. Well, good, as good, good as, as we can as, be, yeah. as good as we can be. We don't want we we don't want to hit the depression button, but uh, we're as good as we can be. It's uh, it's uh, there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel now, of course, but uh, hopefully it'll come sooner than later. It's time goes on, doesn't it? Mm. So uh, I think as time goes on, it's, it, things will get better, and you know that the ties are still concerned about opening the doors. Mm. You know, we're hearing different things. Um, on the quiet about people getting in, you know, without quarantine and stuff. And, you know, how much of it is 100%, we don't know. No. But um, between us and the millions of people who are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, you whisper it in my ear and Bobby's yeah. gone and we'll never listen. Well, <laughs> somebody I know, her tie who drives the big buses, mm. you know, the coaches for the missing links, yeah, for the chinks, <laughs> he, um, he starts work again next week. Okay, well that's telling us hundreds and hundreds of them coming in. Yes, very shortly. Yeah, and the company he works for has got one of the biggest in Bangkok. They've got like five hundred of these big buses. Yeah, Mm. Um, and apparently no quarantine. They do a COVID test in China before they come. Mm -hmm. They do a COVID test at the airport, if that's true, and then they come through. That's it. That's it. I mean, but they're they're only they're only staying a short term. Yeah, ten days. Ten days. Ten days. That's the reason. That don't sort of add up, does it? No, not really, because they haven't asked any of us. So they're making the foreigners stay between sixty and ninety days Mm -hmm. on a visa. Yep. But the Chinese can come in for ten days. On probably no visa. <laughs> on probably no visa. <laughs> or a visa paid at the airport. Absolutely. I mean, You know, but we already know that the the new STV, the super visa they called it, it's a flop. Apparently only 2,000 people around the world have actually applied for it. Mm. So that's a massive flop anyway, you know. It's I cost them more to advertise that than... But we know that It was anyway. never going to work, that one. No. But the new 60-day tourist visa, a bit more appealing if you've got money in the bank. Mm. You know, because that's the main th- criteria. But you still have to do quarantine when you get here. 14 days. But aren't you, if, if you're saying to people, you can come here, but you've got have X, X amount in the bank before you get here. 17 grand, yeah. 17 grand English. I mean, suddenly suddenly that's just put the millions of holidaymakers that come over to, you know, hot countries to go somewhere else in the flick of a switch. Well, I mean, the, Again. Se- the sex pats that come over this time of year, we know that, you know, they come over for a good laugh, for a booze a couple of weeks and then go home. How many of them have got 17 grand in the bank, though? No. You know, a lot of them, are, you know, no disrespect, they've all got the normal jobs, they get the salaries, they save the salaries, and they save up to come on holiday. They do, Dave. That's yeah. it. Agreed. You know, they're not going to go, no, when, would you, when would you sit in the UK and go, hey, I tell you what, Dave, come on, Darren, let, let's go on holiday. I tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll go to Spain tomorrow, how's that? Yeah, I can get a flight for 330 quid. Oh, by the way, we're all, have, yeah, <laughs> we're all in, yeah, and we're going to have, we're going to have £20,000 in the bank, or they won't let us into Spain. I'll tell you what, let's go to France instead. Oh, let's go to somewhere else. Correct. You just look for somewhere else. Yeah. Why, why, I mean, I just don't get it. I mean, I just don't get with all the people that are up there in BK, why they can't just sit around a table and somebody stands up around a board meeting like other people do, you know, when you have board meetings and you've, got oh, your, yeah. and you've got your opinion, why can't one of them just stand up and say, enough's enough, this is absolute bullshit. Why can't we just come up with a solution instead of adding to the problem? Because it's the Asian thing. It's the face. Nobody wants to lose face. Nobody wants to be the person that ruins Thailand. 
right. because they let people in and then COVID, you get a pandemic of COVID in Thailand and that spreads across the borders and all this, oh shit, yeah. This is what they're concerned about. Now, the, the actual um, minister for tourism today, alone today, said, stop the quarantine. Finish it. Mm. COVID test over there, wherever you're coming from. Absolutely. COVID test here. Mm -hmm. We need what to open the doors. Exactly. This, is, this is the actual minister who's been appointed the job. And they said, no. <laughs> and he's saying, well, what am I being employed for? You know, you're, you're giving me the job. I'm telling you what we need to do. We've already told you at this quarter we need to open. Mm. It's too late now. Absolutely. People have already booked to go Magaluf, wherever in Spain, you know, the Tenerife, you know. My mate's just gone to Tenerife this year. He always comes here. 300 quid all in. I mean... You know, why two hour, well, sorry, four hour flight. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, I've got friends who are doing the same. I mean, one thing that come out in the UK, I mean, UK is now on lockdown. You're only Terrible. Allowed, you're only allowed to go out to one person to get the shopping and that's it. But it is something they're looking forward in the UK. Uh, five days of Christmas as the ministers pass... Uh, a thing saying from the 24th, sorry, to the 28th, they will let four households get together to share the bubbles of Christmas for those days only. That's Christmas. So they're not doing anything until then. Before that, zilch, it's saying on here. Yeah. I well, mean, what do you do? But uh, what I, I mean, I can't understand why the UK is so late. Why all of a sudden has somebody gone, oh, shit, we're in the shit, you know? Why is it taking them so long? Mm. You know, it was. I remember reading, you know, on the internet four months ago that there was getting four or five thousand cases a day. Yep. And now all of a sudden somebody's gone. You know, we better put them on lockdown. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> fucking brain dead bastards done that. How do they? What I what I, what I want to work out out is this right? Now in England they had stages, didn't they? Where it's like stage one, stage two, and stage three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And different areas of Great Britain, you know, slice it up into the pizza, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Different areas. Yes had different stages of COVID. That's right. Who the shit knows what stage they're at? Correct. Does he go around to every house, knock on the door and say, I would do that every single house in that place and go, right, we've just done we've just done three million people and two point nine have got it. Okay, you're stage three. Ask, ask Elon Musk about that. Well I'm just gonna say Elon <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> two, well, four, well, four times. Yeah. In two, one day. Two we two we got it, two were negative. With yeah. the same nurse. Yeah. With the same person. Doing the same test, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're not sort of, you know, you, you, we know we've got people rising up in the UK and saying we're not putting up with this. And but again, you know, when you're up against the government, you have to be very, very, very strong. You have to be millions of people, and there just ain't enough to do. That. Well, you know, I mean, saying that, I mean, think, you know, we're not going to go into it, but things in Thailand are, are, are gathering ground. But the thing that I don't get that people up in, in BK probably don't understand is that, you know, in the, originally, Bobby, if I'm right, yeah, tell me if I'm wrong here, originally the virus came from China. Mm -hmm. It came from, they said at the time, a bat or whatever, but it came from China, correct? I'm correct in saying that, Bobby, yeah? yeah? That's what they told us. Okay, so who are the first people they're letting into Thailand free without a visa? Uh, let me guess. The Chinese. The Chinese. Now, does that make sense to you? Mm hmm. Does it make sense? Nothing <laughs> makes sense. It don't make sense, sense to me. Nothing makes sense. I mean, they've already said that their <clears throat> tourism base next year, they're looking for between 11 and 15 million Chinese coming here. You know, for, for, for tourism. Not even mentioned us guys. Not yeah. even mentioned, you know, Europeans, Australians, American, you know. And that's what bugs me. Bugs the yeah. ass out of me. Mm. Yeah. And what do you what do you reckon the reasoning is behind that? Um, mainly because I mean, let's go back, go back at a year, two years ago, okay, when Mr. Trump put the tariffs on China. Yep, exactly what we and Bobby spoke about. Yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah, and their prime minister China at the time turned around and said, "We're going to ruin your economy without firing a bullet." And they have. Um, whatever's happened, happened, yeah. Yep. But this is decimating every single country through fear, right? I don't believe the figures. 
okay? I don't believe how many people are dying because there's not enough room to bury these fucking people and there's not enough places to burn them all, yeah? For starters. It's true. You can laugh, but it's yeah, true. I, I, I'm getting this. Sorry. You know, um, they, they won't give you backgrounds on the people that have died. Mm -hmm. You know, have they got any pre or not? Mm -hmm. um, Thailand, who's checking people in Thailand? How do we know the figures are so small? We don't. Because don't, nobody's checking these people. I don't know. And I mean, same as you. I'm in contact with a lot of people in between us. And we've got pretty good widespread of people that we know and friends and blah, blah, blah. I haven't come across one person, Thai or foreign, that's been tested, tested for no. it. And I don't know anybody here that's had it. Here. None, none. I know people who've got relatives abroad that are supposedly... Had it, had but it. we don't know it's flu or not, do we? Nope. I mean, I, listen, I've had I've had the bad lurgy before. You've had it in the UK. You know, we lived there a long time, and mm. you can guarantee three times a year you'd be in bed with a lem sip, shivering to death, cold, hot, blah blah blah. Correct, and, breathing. You know, green snot coming out of your mouth and stuff. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not eating your tea, uh, but <laughs> it's true. You know, that keep up. I've just had. No, you know, I mean. Attach that to somebody who's got asthma or I've something asthma. like that, you know. Mm -hmm. It can really make them ill. Absolutely. You know, and if they're old and they can't get over it, then unfortunately they're, gonna, they're probably going to pass away. They're going to get pneumonia. Mm -hmm. So who knows what it is? The one, the one thing, when you, you, it's funny you should mention asthma and thought, like, cause I've, I've got asthma and things like this, but, I mean, you know the... the, the the power of the, the, the smoke that they put out, you know, in the, the ozone and everything that's getting more smoggy, especially in Bangkok and a lot of places in the world now, the air is not as clean as it was. As an asthmatic, which I have been since day one, I can feel it when I go to different places in Thailand, yeah. that the air changes. I go to Bangkok and it's like somebody's just put a bag over my mouth. On your lungs, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like it's stopping me from... You know, I'm not asthmatic, Dave, but... I know what you're talking about, mate, because I've had it here. Yeah. I've come out of the gym, mm. I've gone home, I've had something to eat, and I've gone outside and I've said, I can't fucking breathe. No. It's like um, something sapped the oxygen out, you know. It just, I can't tell you how, I mean, as an asthmatic. It must be terrible. It is. It's like, it's like I, I don't know, it's just like trying to breathe trying to breathe through a paper bag. Yeah. You know, it's... it's, it's is it it's, like somebody's like, sucking it all out of you, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you one thing though. I used to think. I <laughs> Look at Bobby. Hey, behave, Bobby. Look at Bobby. What's that? What's that? What's that what's rising that? up there? <laughs> I, I can tell you something between you guys and you no. guys only. I thought for the first fifteen years of my life, I was a fantastic lover and great at sex. Then I found out that every girl I'd had had asthma. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was you that were doing the heavy breathing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I mean, I mean, what can we say? I mean, talking about emissions and things like that. But Joe Rogan wanted me on his show. Uh, did he? Yeah, but they said I'm too fucking foul mouth, so they won't let me on. <laughs> We're talking about emissions. <laughs> Listen to this one, then. Uh, you like this as well, Bobby. Uh, the end of the road for petrol and diesel cars has just been signed <laughs> in the UK. Only nine years to go. Wow. Then it's done. Boris announces that in 2030, 2030, the ban on all petrol and diesel cars in the UK is now illegal, or will be illegal. They can only sell electric. Well, do you remember it? Do you remember a year ago in Thailand when they, they had the problem with the smog? Yes. And they blamed it on people burning, <laughs> burning leaves and people doing the barbecue at the side of the road. That's too many barbecues. <laughs> It, that's what they convinced themselves it was. They just, uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, there must be billions of cubic metres of shit up there, you know. And the best, thing I, the best thing that I sort of laughed about a little bit is when they came out with all those, like, big extractors, didn't they, to take the smog out of the air. They, they put them all down Sukhwit Road and they were like these big sucking machines sucking all the air in to clean it to throw it out the other side. And I thought, <laughs> what are you doing? They're spraying everywhere with water. Water, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the water was... I thought that was for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, what got me today, I'll tell you what, this is how smart they are with numbers, yeah? They've worked out that 300,000 people have left Patia up to now. That's Thais and foreigners. How many? 300,000. <gasps> That's what they reckon up to now, yeah? And they've worked that out because normally per day they collect 50 tonnes of shit out of bins. <laughs> Now they're only collecting 20. <laughs> that's and that's how they've worked out how many people have gone. 
<laughs> Seems logic to me. Fucking great, isn't it? I mean, that's who works these uh, graphs out? <laughs> <laughs> Present that to the Prime Minister. Just means oh, this is how we know. <laughs> no, it does. It just means in in January everybody had the shits. Fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 bins. <laughs> how do you work that one out? Bins. I can't believe it. This these are these are the people that are looking after the area. What about on the, when we going back to the visas now? Is there any change on any of the visas that are out there besides the S? What was it, sorry? The S. Uh, the super. Tourist fees, the STV. STV, that was it, sorry. Well, the, the STV is a flop. Um, so that's that's not um, that's not worth even contemplating because of the 30 uh, rules that you needed to uh, get through. Mm. Um, the tourist fees are 60 day that's just been introduced. Um, again, these are for countries that have are not ravaged with COVID. Mm. So the UK, that is probably the, one of the biggest tourism groups for us at this time of year absolutely Hepatia, yeah. ain't gonna ain't, ain't gonna, gonna get, not gonna come anyway well they can't now if you've got family here or kiddies yes you can go to a thai consulate get a 90 day old visa and you can come but you still have to do the get the see coe you can travel um do the covid test and do a covid test here in the 14 day quarantine mm. um so that's that's available the no no the 60 day tourist again is the same criteria but you have to have 17000 equivalent to 17000 pounds in the bank plus the insurance as well of up to $100,000 okay outpay impatience mm. it must cost a lot for the flu gary um, G, gary G, he says that darren he says is it true that they are, i've heard that they're going to drop the quarantine down to 7 days at the end of december could be i mean Anatin, uh, one of the ministers in Bangkok, you know, put forward to the, who he doesn't like Falang. That's the guy that said, Falangs don't wear masks because they you remember, we don't wash and we're dirty and had to go back and, and then apologize. Two, and then two days later he said his best friend was one. Yes, correct. Um, he, he said that he wants it down to a, at least 10 days. Mm. And that got knocked back. And he's quite powerful. He's a powerful man in, in in the government, so that's strange. But I think a lot's going to happen over the next month. I really do. I th do you think that? I mean, in your opinion. I mean, okay. Th of course, some of course some things will trickle back. But do you think, in your opinion, that for where we are, it's going to be um, too much, too late, or something like that? Too little, too late, or I mean. Which way round do you think it's going to be? I was talking to a customer today who's been a long time like us. And the scary part is most of the shops in Pattaya now that are closed, which they reckon are at least over 50% now. Easy. And bars. Um, Easy. The people haven't just shut them down, waiting for better times. They've gone. They've gone. So now we've got to wait for thousands of people to come to take over them businesses to make it like it used to be. Now, how long is that going to take? Yeah, sure. So you're going to put some poor sod from a country who may become a year ago. He's going to come here expecting it to be all lights and flashing and happy. He doesn't realise everybody's in bed at half past eight at night now. Mm. You know, it's just it's just totally decimated. Mm. Patty is decimated. The beer bars, you go along Beach Road, normally on a Friday, Saturday night, it takes you an hour to get to Walking Street in a car. There's just no traffic. Mm. There's nothing. Um, traffic I mean, is better here because, as we know, they built the new motorway, which takes people from Bangkok, who make most of the traffic, um, over past Pattaya now, mm. you know, if they're going to Siracha or wherever. I spoke to a friend at the weekend. He's gone down to Ko Chang. Uh, oh, uh, so you have to, as you know, you have to get the ferry over, yeah, and all that. Um, and uh, he had to wait. There was he was on, you know, he was in the car, all the cars that was waiting, which there was a lot of, uh, and he got on the fifth ferry. They wow. were they were absolutely rammed. Wow. He said, Ko Chang. He said he sent us a video. Uh, Ko Chang, whoever says that it was not busy down there, there's no people here. And just put it down the beach and put it at the bars and they were rammed. But we haven't never heard of Cold Chang. 
No. We've not heard of them having problems, have we? Coach no, and Cole Ann, they, no. they, they don't seem to have been in the news. I mean, they've been in the news recently. Is it Cole Ann that they've found 58 properties encroaching into mm, the water? No, no, no. So they want to knock them fucking things down just to make things a little bit more difficult, yeah, or whatever, like they tried on Walking Street. But, no, it sounds like these, these the island places are doing doing okay mm. locally, but it's just Pattier itself, mm. you know, mm. Sin City that's... Uh, but I do th I do think that uh, uh, one, I spoke to a, a Thai person that I know, mm. um, actually is a delivery guy, uh, you know, drives around in the right to he delivers, but he's, yeah. he's, you know, they deal with, his company deal with, transport their deer with tours and things like that and he says it's, it's swung the other way around now he says before it was like 80 percent of the thai people and people asking you know where they, could they stay in patio and where can they go and he said it's now swung around where it's the 20 percent that are asking to go to the islands and that have now it's 80 percent who want to go to the islands and go to the other places and the other 20 percent are just asking about patio so i yeah. mean you know is, is is it one of those things where it's a, a little bit mixed up and it all needs shaking up again uh, does thailand in general need shaking up and if the doors open how long is it going to take to shake up you know the thais call patia the poor man's who in mm. okay so places like you know ko chang they're going they're going to be busy okay the ecosystems they reckon now in thailand due to the lack of tourism are flourishing Places like PP Island, you know, Koh Samui, Phuket, where obviously they're they're dying because they've no tourism. You know these places, they they got, they got you know all sorts of fish coming back. They've got corals growing that have not that haven't been growing for hundred years. And all sorts of stuff going on, mate, down there. But you know, I mean, I mean, have you? I couldn't believe it. You know, normally John T M the water's looking grey and shit. Colour, I've been there, it? mate. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. I can't believe it. Unreal. It's like somebody just wrung it out and washed it. It's unreal. It's n yeah, I paddle out there. It's, uh, a, it's yeah. unreal. Every week, and it's clear it's, and gold. It's looking like a tropical island out there. Can't believe it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, somebody sent me Chen, some... I go out a little farther than yeah, Jomchen. Somebody, yeah, now Jomchen, around that area, yeah. yeah. Somebody sent me some photos of a sunset, you know, Patia last night. Mm. There were nobody on the beach. Mm. And to be fair, I mean, I want people on the beach, don't get me wrong, but it was beautiful, mate. Mm. It looked like Mauritius, mm, mm. you know. It was absolutely with the coconut trees and stuff. It was beautiful, but again, the, these things are flourishing there was, now. There was a, a friend of mine was up near the Buddha, and he had a, a camera, and he was taking a, a video. Which I'll tell you in a minute. It was a video rec uh, camera on with a live feed to Patia. You, you could see the Patia, you could see Beach Road, you could see the sea, everything. And this was around about dinner time ish, yeah, eleven ish, actually, yeah, about eleven o'clock. It was, yeah. And when he, when he first sent it me, I clicked it and I went like, that. I thought, oh, yeah, yeah. I went, great picture, mate. He went, no, this is live. I went, what do you mean live? It's live. It's my camera's on. And do you know what? There was nothing moving. It was complete. You, you looked at it and you thought it was a picture, but it's actually a video feed. You know, like before you'd see all the boats in the, in, in the sea with the paragliding <laughs> yeah, and this going yeah, and that going yeah, and, yeah. and the tons of cars going up and down. No. Yeah. No. Actually, as I was sort of, Walking away from it and saying thanks a lot, see mate, blah blah blah. There was two cars and a bar bus went by. Unbelievable. So it, it did look like a picture, like somebody took a picture. I yeah. said to him, "Great picture." I went, "No, it's a live, it's a live feed." It's when you drive down. I mean, I come out of the Amari from the expat club. You know, middle of the afternoon, you drive down Beach Road. There's no motorbikes. No. Normally on a Friday, the police are always there stopping you. <laughs> no police. No. No nothing. No. Who just. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, like somebody took the batteries out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a sad situation that it's in, um, but it actually it's doing the you know like the corals and the sea and the beaches and the and the vi environment in itself. It's doing it good, you know. It, probably they're getting cleaned up, and they are. They're doing more buildings. They're trying to do the infrastructure, as you've seen. I mean, yeah, nature's coming back into balance. Yeah, again. I mean, nature has its way of coming back into the balance, doesn't yeah. it? You know, so it is doing that. And I, I but the the, the thing that bothers me if that's what you if what we can say is you know i'm just trying to see when somebody says this is over who's that going to be i mean where is it going to come from you know is it going to come from china is it going to come from america mm -hmm. you know i mean you know all these things are happening and, and, and i'm a dumbass when it comes to all well this the stuff. special friend of yours said it's going to be over after the elections right yeah yeah and how many vaccines are we going to have from the different places and how do we know which one's going to work and 
you know, are they pumping water, are they pumping in fucking barcodes, what the, what, what? Yeah. you know, what, what's happened, we live in a foreign country, we, we will probably be made as part of foreigners staying here to, to have whatever we're given. Belgium, if you don't have the COVID vaccine, I think it's at 20,000 euros, you will be fined. Tell this idea. Yeah. I think it was there. It was in, in the newspaper. I may be wrong on the, the, where it was, but you know, if if you was to have a vaccination and everybody said, you know, here's the vaccination, take it. I mean, you know, would we? I probably would at the end of the day. You know, but you know, it's like the men at the top, the people that are pulling these strings, are going, let's test the vaccination on these people first, and if everything's okay, we'll try it. They did in China. They tried it on twenty five, and twenty five died. That didn't go too well, did it? No. Well, F Pfizer tried it on some African children, didn't they? Mm. That they tried to keep quiet. Was it 80? And they all died. Yeah. So mm. yeah. I'm a little bit um, perturbed about. And um, we know where the vaccine is going to come from, don't we, from here? It's going to come from China. That's the scary part. The vaccine's going to come from China? I think so. They're going to be the people that. Uh, for Asia. Ah, for Asia. Okay, They're going to be it, the, main, the main got dudes. It. Yeah. I mean, they are now, they're controlling. The control in Asia with the money that they've, you know, I don't know whether you've heard today the story about the BTS. No, no, it's not running apparently today, because Thailand have okay. not paid the bill to the Chinese, <laughs> who control the electric, control the, the trains and everything, which is something mm. like eight thousand million baht, something like that, yeah. Mm. So they're really control. They've got the they've got the fingers in everything. I mean, Cambodia. They've they bought half of Cambodia yeah, already. Sure, you know, sure, we sure, know sure. that, don't we? Mm. Um, and I'm sure they've done it with a lot of other countries. But so you when, know, it's the old. It's the old. Sorry, Bobby. It's it's the old sort of game where you know you, you put this scaremongery factor into it. Like you scare everybody. Everybody stays in. Everybody like shits herself. Everything goes down the pan, and everything becomes cheap. And then somebody like China comes in and buys it, and they said, "Okay, everything back to normal now." But they ended up with a big stockpile of everything. For, for nothing, for cheap. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, the people like Soros and, you know, um, Bill Gates, I mean, are they planning on making billions on the vaccines? I mean, is, is that the end game? Is, is that it? Or is I it think the, is artificial money is intelligence? A small part of it. I think there's an agenda. I, th I think money is a small part of it. I think uh, the agenda, well, Agenda 21 actually is a protocol that the United Nations has actually established for reducing the population of the planet and this uh this vaccine will sterilize men and women and will bring the population I'm down for that. <laughs> i've waited for 60 years for that <laughs> we got Dwayne, brother Dwayne out there in australia uh do you think the government is just waiting on a vaccine before opening the country up to tourism i would say a big yes to that big yes on that one Great. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for your questions. Uh, don't forget, of course, if you want to send us a question or anything like that for the show, you can do it live via Facebook or send us an email, which is on our website, talkingheadspodcast.com. Yeah. You see, if they wait for the vaccine, excuse me, let's say they wait for the vaccine. Backfire a bit, yeah. <laughs> um, Internal combustion there? Correct. It's, it's going to be somebody else's fault if it doesn't work. Mm. So, again, it's like everything else. It's heads on blocks, isn't it? Boom. Mm. You know, nobody in Thailand is going to do that. Well, in South Korea, they, they've, been, they've been squirting people with the vaccine for the last three weeks, and 60 people uh, died, you know, within the last, even more than that, actually. They're I've not squirted a few in Korea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, I've licked some Jack and Danny over there. That was, that, that was squirt. What is squirt? Is that what you meant? Injection, yeah? Inject. There have been injecting. Inject. inject. The South Koreans with the vaccine, 60 okay. people have died. And, yeah. how many, and, how many, yeah. and how many did they sort of like, you know, test or give it to? They gave it to a bunch, but 60 people within the last three weeks have, you know, definitely passed away. Yeah. But again, this could be through, it, it, you know, again, every, it's like penicillin, isn't it? When they first brought out penicillin, it killed more than it cured. Absolutely, because no, you don't know who's who's going to be vulnerable to, you know, who's going to reject it, who's not. You know, it's one of them things, Bobby, isn't it? We just uh, don't know, do we? And in the fine print, man, these companies, Moderna and uh, Pfizer, they're not taking any liability for it, man. It's just we're the guinea pigs. They won't. It's pretty scary. What's gonna? What's what might be what, happening. One thing I've just read in the UK, I can see that I can, this. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know who comes up with this. 
So they've just put one out. It's, it's come up on my RSS feed for breaking news, okay? Breaking news in the UK at this moment, okay? Uh, people are told by the government they should open their windows this winter <laughs> to decrease the COVID risk. Work that one out. So your central lease is on, you're freezing, you're freezing your bollocks off, and the, gover- get new the government says open the winters. What's all that about? Fresh air. No, it's the sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> sprouts. Yeah, they're not giving sprouts out this year. <laughs> Can you believe that, though? Eh? I mean, I mean, no. who, somebody's they? getting paid hundreds of thousands to say that, to decide that. You know that, don't you? I mean, I just sort of like, where does this come from? There's not words. We're in a position at the moment where we just haven't got words for what's going on. Is there, um, I mean, going back on to your, your visas and that, is there still a, a call at the moment for the marriage visa side of it? Is that still ticking over? Uh, or all the all the Thai lady going abroad? I mean, is that harder now? No, it's not more difficult. Visas within, within Thailand to stay here um, is exactly the same as it used to be. Nothing's changed. Um, visas for Thais to go on holiday... Nothing seems to have changed. Mm. Um, it all seems to be running tickety boo. There isn't the, I don't think there's the call for it, you know, like you would expect. But I think this lockdown's killed that straight away because people are thinking, well, I'm not really going to bring my girlfriend over now because there's a lockdown for a month, and yeah. by the time she gets here, Christmas is going to be over, and one thing or another. So that's just killed it for this year, right. as far as the Brits are concerned. I think, um, but. <sighs> Again, it's the ties are not doing anything to make people's life here more difficult. It's just difficult for people to come in. Mm. And that's it. If you was the big boss here, and again, your job was to look after your own people, and you know, you see how ravaged, or they say how ravaged Europe is at the moment, and the problems they're having. I mean, would you open the doors? No, Dave? no. We're saying it because. Every business in, in Thailand, believe you me, guys out there, we're having it really rough. Mm. Really, really rough. I mean, in depression, you know, well, on, 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 for everybody, I mean, it's m- massive. As we're speaking now, I mean, we're not going to go into th- and say too much on this, but as of, four, as of four o'clock today, they're saying at least 25 to 30% of Bangkok will be on the streets. Wow. Tonight. It's happening now. Yeah. As, as we speak. It's because of the tear gas they use yesterday. Is it? On students. Oh. You know, do So they did use tear gas? Listen. I saw the water I, cannons, but they... I didn't say this, right? <laughs> okay. But they used tear gas, and certain people blocked the entrance for the ambulances to come in and try and help the kids. Oh, wow. You know, the, I don't know whether you've, you guys won't have... I have, but you guys won't have ever been in a position where there's tear gas. I'm mm. telling you, it's, it's very, very painful. You've been hit by tear gas? When I was younger. Wow. Really? Yeah, well, I did a bit in the military when I was younger. Wow. In my early days. Not fun. No, it's not fun, mate. It's, it's, it's not designed to be fun. Mm. You know? Um, but you should not <laughs> use it as, until it's a last resort. I mean, there was news coming out last night that, you know, maybe rubber bullets were used. Wow. The... The big people are saying no. The protesters are saying yes, and they've got marks on the body to prove it. Wow. Mm. So, you know, it's it's getting rough up there. You know, I mean, the, the, there's the yellow shirts, and you've got the pro, the demonstrators. Now we were watching numerous videos today, and these people with yellow shirts that was involved with this conflict last night, mm, probably twenty percent of them had radios hanging off the back belt. Now, if you're a normal protester, you don't have a walkie-talkie radio hanging off your belt, do you? No, as you're, spe- as you're speaking, some people have just been... To- I'm just listening to what you say. Sorry, mate, I'm not looking at you, but the RSS feed's coming up. One thing you're saying now about the walkie-talkie thing is something that's in the few sentences I've just been reading. They're being called walkie-talkies, pistols and bullets. Who? The protesters up in Bangkok. The protesters? Mm. Oh, I'm sure they have. Yeah, so, 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 just mm. as, just as we were speaking now. Sorry, but I don't. When, I don't believe it, mate. No, it's the easy, I mean, easiest trick in the book to throw. It's framing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you you listen. You worked in the in the news here. Yep. For 
more years than I can remember. Mm -hmm. You've seen cases here that we're not allowed to talk about. Alice in Wonderland. Exactly. You know, and I mean, <laughs> they, they, ju they just make this shit up. I've been, I mean, I've he, been the certain person, we know there's a ruling coming in the beginning of December mm. with regards to his home. Mm. So everything that they could possibly do now to keep him in power, they will do. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. And you, the reason they normally bring out this sort of stuff is they want to turn, they want to get into a state... Good Samaritan. ...of emergency again. Mm-hmm. So they will bring out another one month state of emergency. I mean, being, being in the news thing here as well, you know, sometimes we've in in the past, over the years, we've had that we've had that thing where we've got the piece of paper, we've got everything on it, and it's relatively important for everybody to know. But we're still waiting for the green light phone call from Bangkok to say we can put it on. Mm. That's what you call. That's what you call basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was reading on the news the other day. What, Control. How much did they find? Was it fifty tons of ketamine, something like that? Was yeah, it? they're still not. They're still not sure they're going to prosecute over that. Well, they haven't found anybody to prosecute. Over. <laughs> they, they don't know where it came from. <laughs> no. They fell on it. They fell on it. The biggest, the biggest haul ever in Thailand. And they fell on it. And they fell on it, just like that. <clears throat> I heard it came from, came from Cambodia. Is that true? No, no, I don't believe so. I believe it was further up north. Yeah, probably. And the old triangle. <coughs> the only triangles you know are full of air, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the visa side of it, I mean, where, is there any kind of, can you see in the future that any kind of, we have spoke about it on the past shows, about uh, any kind of new visa coming in to, if these doors do open up again, to like entice people back to Thailand? Would there be a... I think, I think the old days of coming to Thailand on a 30 day and just walking in, I think that will be gone. I don't think that'll it'll ever come back. Okay. But I think if this vaccine shows that it's working or, you know, everybody believes it's working or whatever the, the story is, um, I think you, you'd be able to go to any consulate, get a 60-day tourist visa, show maybe a certificate, a vaccine certificate, um, do a COVID test before you come, get checked at the airport for no temperature when you come in and boom, you're in. It'd be as simple as that, mm. but I'm sure the vaccine will be somewhere in the in the in the midst. Well, I think I think it's going to be that all over the world. I'm I'm sure that it's it's going to be. You can't come into our country unless you've had the vaccine. Correct. I think that's that's how they're going to get us on it. And I mean, you know, I mean, how how long can people survive, Dave? The, you, you, you can't. Sin I mean, here, mate. You've seen them here. What is it now? The UK is now two point seven six trillion pounds in the red. Yeah. Uh, Mark from over in uh, San Francisco, uh, that area, he said that the, the oh, California, that was just that California was at 2.8 trillion or something with 40 million people that live there. And in the UK, 66 million people. Live there. I mean, how far can it go before it implodes in the UK? I just don't know, mate. It's happening here. It is. I think it would be slower here, but I think in the UK, it, the reason that I say it's going to happen in the UK more, of course, because of all the businesses oh, that, agreed, that agreed, are in the UK. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you know, you've got your man. You listen. You've got a man, and I've done it. You've got a man and a van in the UK, haven't you? The white vans who and, do whatever, win and the they cleaning, can't go out, win the cleaning, painting, decorating, do whatever, and they survive on that. They're self-employed. Yeah, for example, how long can they survive? How long can the people that work at a factory who are going to be cut off at the end of the month just before Christmas with their eighty percent they get? We, we could be the, we could be heading for the biggest recession ever, and known to man. Recession and clean up, and clean up. You know, I I would I would you know everybody says that there's there's the I mean Bobby you come in on this as well. Everybody talks about these are the figures from for COVID. These are the COVID figures. This is how many have died from COVID. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. But I don't know, Bobby. You and and you guys might know better than me. Is has any put has anybody put out the deaths from the COVID situation. Be well, we've it, had a huge influenza spike. Be it, no, be it, no. I mean, in the way of like suicides, ah. you know, uh, whatever. Has anybody put actually put those figures out? No, no. I've never, I've not seen them. No, because I can get, I can tell you one thing. It's probably very high. Massive. Yeah. Massive, mate. I mean, it's happening here in Thailand daily. Yeah, loads of them daily. 
and it's very them. sad because uh, you know we spoke about on the show before. What is it? Twelve dollars fifty a month pension. What's that? Five hundred bucks? Eight hundred? Four hundred bucks? I think something like that. Yeah, yeah. a month. I mean, where, where do you go? Where do you, I mean, where, where does it all go? I mean, we've got to, we've also got to think on the other side of the coin, and that is that we have to be positive, and that is that you yes. know, it, you know, if it does open up, which we hope it will open up, uh, we don't know any sort of firm date on it at the moment. But when Thailand opens up again, they've got to make it, in my opinion, in my opinion, they've got to make it one of the easiest places in the world to get into. They have to. Then, they have to. Yeah, they will, they will do. Like I said again, the worst thing that ever happened here, and I've said it week after week after week, is they won the award for being the best country in the world for containing corona, the virus. Yeah. Thais don't want to lose that, mate. No. They don't want to lose face. No. They don't want to be the people that have ruined that. And nobody's going to put the neck on the block. So all the Thai people go back at them and say, it's your fault. Is there because any... It, 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 you know, Thai, you know, age, it's the blame game. Yeah. You know? Mm. In the UK, you can't go to Boris Johnson and say, it's your fault. He don't give a shit. No, no, no. But here... They do. They take it, they take they it very personally, you know? Is there any places in the world, uh, Bobby and, uh, and Darren, is there any places in the world where it's COVID-free? Is there any places? I mean... I, I, I think, uh, well... As far as numbers go, low numbers, Laos and Cambodia are really low, even lower than Thailand. Well, mm. Lower than 58 in Thailand. Yeah. I think 58 yeah, in Thailand now, is yeah. it? 58, 60, whatever. 58, 59 out of 66 million people. That's mm. not a bad record. I reckon the Himalayas are, are better. <laughs> Who lives <it? laughs> I can see myself up there. But you know who's up there, don't you? The chicken, I know. No, the snob. <laughs> a bonnable snowman, yeah? I wonder if he's got it. Dwayne is chiming in. He says New Zealand. Uh, Dwayne, oh, okay. give us... Oh, yeah, yeah. How, much, how many uh, people have passed in New Zealand? Can you give us a number on that? Is he giving it... Is, well, is he giving it as on deaths, not from COVID, yeah? Yeah, let's just talk about people that have passed from it instead of cases. Let's talk about deaths. Oh, it must, uh, must be Thailand. Thailand must be way, way up there the best. Yeah, I think must Laos be. is even... Laos and Cambodia are lower than Thailand, though. Lower uh, than 58, yeah? But Dwayne, uh, well, we can look it up too while Dwayne's looking it up. But uh, we're, we're looking at well, you can look on that. You, you got the big computer. You can have a look on that. Find out what it is. To to, to me, I, I mean, fifty eight. I mean, what is it? I mean, the the, the 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 scary argument that everybody's had, including the ministers who are fighting to open, because there is ministers fighting up there to open the doors. Yeah, it's not I'll all, tell it's you not that all the negative no, side. No, it's is not. It? It's we know not. That. We know believe that. that. We know that. Um, they're saying like you know, there's more than sixty people a day. Dying on the roads in Thailand, yeah, through absolutely. accidents, true, and probably all over the world. Yep, you know, it's, it's probably high figures per day. And it's and it, we've only had fifty eight deaths through COVID all this time. So is is we haven't had anybody die? What for? How many months? Six months. Oh yeah, yeah, got to be now. Six months. It must be Bobby here now. Yeah, yeah. last plus plus yeah. person. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I mean. For people listening in, we're on Thai news. If they get one case of COVID, it's big news. <laughs> you know, the rest of the world are working on hundreds and thousands. There's no reason for them not to open the doors, like the minister said this morning. Open the doors, we'll deal with the cases as and when they come. Mm. And that's what he said. We can we can use all sorts of technology, you know, to try and to try and scan, to try and keep our eye on where people are, you know, and and just take it from there. Do you know what's always that I find intriguing? Yeah, I always find this intriguing, and this is this is a live feed from the from the world uh, that I just want to. That's, that's a live feed from the world now, and it just shows you what's happening in the world as we speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you, if if you if you look at it, I mean, uh, two cases in Fiji, two okay, two ca uh, excuse me, two deaths in Fiji, two deaths in the British, uh, one death in the Virgin British Virgin Islands, Islands. Uh, Montserrat one, Western Sahara one, Saint Lucia two, Bermuda nine, Barbados seven, Cayman Islands two. Mm. 
well, they're low populated countries yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. So, Low. so you can understand that, yeah. But Thailand, I think you know, it must be way, way up there with the population they've got. About six, what's it, 67, 67 million? Yeah, we've got six, here yeah. now. Yeah. Vietnam, thirty-five. Our neighbor, thirty-five. That's good. Yeah. So that's good. I'm just, I was just sort of like people are sending me like the uh, questions for you and. Uh, but Vietnam are also opening up as well, though, aren't Thailand, they? Thailand, sixty. Sixty. So it's like it's a lot. What sixty? <laughs> I thought it was fifty-eight. It was fifty-eight. Sixty now. Yes, I've had a couple of cases in the last six months. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, they were right to probably shut their doors quick, which they did. I mean, you know, they heard about this virus, this, you know, this mm. virus around the world is going to kill everybody. Bang, close the doors. Can't fault them. No. I mean, what 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 you know what 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 choice have you got to protect your country? But. Over the period of time, if they look at what's happening in Thailand and what's happening now, they should say, "Okay, there's not that real much happening no. now." So you see the the rubbish that the UK and the and stuff are going through now. We went through it early doors. Mm -hmm. You know, we went through it. Uh, Lao one one person died in Lao. There you go. We went through it early. Yeah, you know, with all the you know, you can't travel to this side of Patia, you can't travel here, you can't travel there. Uh, are you waving at your phone, but My mum, she's just... She's hey, mum! She's 94 and she's trying to contact <laughs> with us, so I'm just trying to get it. I'm, I'm going to ring you back, mum, and let's, hey, she wants to come on the show. Oh, she's, bless her. She's going to bollock you for nicking all the milk. No, for swearing. <laughs> <laughs> get up my chicken back. So, well, 60, 60 now, Bobby, did you say? Yeah. 60. 60, so what, one, uh, one in Lao. Oh, is she? She's here now. Uh, Ma'am, we can't really say a lot. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yes? You're on the show, look. This is, this is, this is Darren. Hey, love. That's Darren. Bobby's at the end there, look. Say hello, Bobby. <laughs> so I'm doing, I'm doing the show and I'll talk to you in a minute. Is that okay? Okay. There wow. you go. Techno mum. 94. Awesome. 94. Yeah, amazing. Lovely. The best thing about it is she can type as well. <laughs> Great. She says, she says that guy opposite you with a chicken, tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that three million have just said that to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate. All right. I mean, let's 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 end on a high. Give me a high. Give me one. <clears throat> I would say end of December, start of New Year mm -hmm. is going to be opposite to what we had this year i think this is when the the virus the vaccine will be available yep. people start taking it mm -hmm. there'll be more um there'll be less less countries opening sorry closing the doors mm -hmm. they'll all start opening again mm -hmm. i think by next summer hopefully be a bad memory okay let's michael buckley how so. many how much further do you see places closing in patia after the new year bars shops etc my answer to that is i i, I see probably about another 20 25 percent going at least i think there'll be 70 percent of small businesses gone yeah mm, i mean i'll probably say about 70 percent of small beer bars you know soy seven soy eight is finished uh, well, there, there's yeah. hardly, there isn't a bar open i don't think mm. As far as I know, on there now, soy seven, soy soy six, only half a dozen bars on there. It's um, sad because you know, in, in all fairness, it's very sad because a lot of people have put a lot of time and effort into places, the building sad. places, and and a lot of people. Uh, this this this, this kind of virus has, has made a lot of people in Patia lose a lot of money. It doesn't matter what you say or how you look at it. I mean, it's it's millions. We're, and we're millions lucky and millions. to still be here, mate. Yeah, we're still here. You know, we're and still here. and I really do, like I said, we our heart goes out, and I do hope. That a lot of these guys who've made a great attempt at it, you know, when things get better, do do want to come back and start again. Yeah, you know, let's hope a lot of these places on Walking Street have just closed and waiting for better times. Mm. You know, it might be too optimistic, but that's the way to look at it. Okay, well, let's just hope for the best. We wish everybody out there the best as well, and, and stay safe uh, from Bobby. Absolutely. But you guys at home, mm. if you haven't got anybody and you just want to drink. You're not really missing anything. No, that's, that's what true. I will say at the moment. Not at the you moment. Know, it's, it's not the it's not the place that you you imagined it was before when you've been. Mm. Certainly changed a lot, you know. So just give it a bit of time. The we'll, playground we'll is empty at the moment, so uh, it's empty of everything. 
you know it's not it's not the you can't just go in oh well you know the women must be better because there's less foreigners well, it's, it's not because they've all gone it's gonna be there's gonna be a turnaround it depends how long that turnaround takes but it will it will be a turnaround it will come back to roughly something again and uh whatever that will be but th there will be a turnaround i miss there. them skinny treacles don't you absolutely we need them, we need them <laughs> chang chang fest wearing guys come back <laughs> don't we <laughs> yeah? we do with, with the big hairy chests with a little little skinny treacle on his arm, and yeah, that's what we need. And the hairy chest over here. Did well, you I say just it? said it. What the woman? <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your own devices. <laughs> all right, from all of us down here at the Talking Dead Studio, me, Darren, and Bobby, and the chicken. It is goodbye. See you guys. See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Aloha. Talking Heads podcast live from Pattaya, Thailand, with your host Dave D. Join us weekdays. Check out all the latest updates on Talking Heads Podcast.